This is over the top. Short and wide will give him a boundary. That's gone for four. Got the width he needed. Special is gone, caught behind, slashing outside the off stump. And that's the area he generally enjoys. And this time, he succumbs. Well, we talked about those square shots, those horizontal bat shots. That you needed to avoid those on this pitch. Unless you could hit the ball in front of you. And Bishu goes after one. Bounces a little more than he expects. And keeper takes the catch. So the second West Indian wicket goes down. First of the day, Bishu for 13. It's 33 for 2. Got him. Played on. We just can't believe his luck. But did he have to play at that? Well, he's also hanging around because the umpires want to have a closer look at Damika Prasad's foot. He needs something behind the line when it lands. And I think that's good enough. Yeah, I think he's got a little bit, and that, that's enough to be behind the line. So that's a big blow. Darren Bravo, arguably the West Indies' best batsman. Something behind the line. That's what umpire Murray Rasmus will be looking for. He needs to be sure. He played that shot. He'd been waiting for it. So the two pace nature working for Damika Prasad on this occasion. The ball not coming onto the bat. Inside edge. Bravo goes. Massive blow for the West Indies. He's only made two. It's 37 for three. Top shot. That's over pitch, driven away through under, extra under. cover. Marlon Samuel will get a boundary. He's come on, drawn him into the shot. And at the worst moment for the West Indies, excellent for Sri Lanka, though. Best time to get a wicket right before a session. This was just a regular delivery, and Samuels reaching for it. Bit of spin. You could see him playing away from that front foot, reaching for that delivery. Just took the edge and the simplest of catches to slip. And uh, the West Indies were clawing the way out. They've fallen right back in as Sri Lanka claim their fourth wicket. Balan Samuels goes for 13. It's 76 for four. Another gift. He puts it away, nice. Brathwaite. And over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Melinda Sirivardana picks up his second wicket. He's not sure. He wants to review that. But I think there was a noise. It did turn sharply. We just have to make sure, we'll have to wait and see if Brathwaite hit the ground. Because that's the only time a batsman wouldn't know 
if he's next to if he's nicked the ball the jarring that happens when you hit when your bat hits the ground i beg your pardon no problem with the delivery the front foot's fine so it's a legal delivery beautifully tossed up Kusal Pereira following the turn. Bit of bounce. That does hit the ground. Now we'll have to synchronize both pictures. And is there daylight between the bat? We're interested in the half of or, or the picture on the left of your screen. With the ball's past the bat right now. Just there. So there's no evidence to overturn that decision. There was hardly any, or we could not say that there was daylight between bat and ball. Hence, He'll have to stay with the decision. He's battered really well, Brathwaite. He's made 47. It's 89 for five. Oh, he's punched that. That was soon gonna happen sooner or later. That's the way he plays, Jermaine Blackwood. Not afraid to use his feet, not afraid to go over the top. Straight forward. He's come on, drawn the attacking shot and the edge. And they're giving Sri Lanka the advantage. Delivery that didn't do much, if anything. But just pitched up outside off stump and Blackwood going for that expansive drive. Just an outside edge. The good catch by Sal Pereira. Low and to his right. So Blackwood goes. Loose shot. 16 his contribution and the West Indies now 105 for 6. That's a very fine shot by Holder. Coming down the pitch wasn't really, that wasn't really off the middle of the bat, but still a good enough shot wide on mid on. Good use of the feet, very good use of the feet. This is good batting by the West Indian captain. That's a big six. Oh, ball in. Down the wicket, rush of blood, and hit completely across the line. Ramdin should be kicking himself with that shot. It's a bit of a shocker. It's a shocking shot. He didn't get close enough to it and had to end up going across the line. And that's ugly. And I don't think he'll be watching the highlights tonight. Herat's first wicket of the innings as well. Critical free. time. Another partnership begins and goes. Be quite embarrassing that for Randin. He goes for 14, 137 for seven. sharp one though it might have gone straight to him was not easy it was low that was quick pulled much quicker by Dilruan Pereira and there's that straighter delivery just like the one that he got the stumping appeal against Craig Brathwaite just goes straight on off the outside edge and Angelo Matthews 
ever sharp and slip. A little bit quicker and hold us back. Probably coming down a little bit late. But just going straight on with the arm. And Jason Holder goes for 21. West Indies now 149 for eight. smart piece of bowling very smart piece of bowling got in very close to the stumps and delivered that ball wicket to wicket gets in very close I'd review just that just I would around that off stump no stroke offered and I reckon it would have gone on and hit the stumps no review from Jerome Taylor. He goes for one, and the West End is now floundering at 151 for nine. Alan. Yes. Yay. Easy as you like it. Just chip back to Dilruan Pereira, who walks away with three wickets. Well, didn't get anywhere near the pitch of this Warwick. Huh? Bit ambitious. succeeds only in just chipping it back to a waiting Pereira he's been steady deal run Pereira he's got that arm ball working for him and that's where he created all the doubt a welcome haul for him Americans his debut as a batsman comes to an end. He's just managed to get one, and the West Indies bowled out for 163. 37 runs behind Sri Lanka's first of 200. They've lost six wickets for 86 runs this session. Chip! And taken. <laughs> Maybe that's the confidence you needed, Bishu. That's a good catch. On his pads, just held up a wee bit. Bishu had a lot of work to do. Perfect start for the Windies. I'm telling you, these these sorts of sessions, batting can be tricky. There's no problem there. He's bowled that from well behind the crease. And does that have an impact? Did it not get to Karunaratna as quickly as he expected? Hence, playing a little bit early and scooping it to square leg. Brilliant from Bishu. He's a good fielder. Did it stop in the pitch or did it just uh, deliver it from... The extra yard causes downfall. Uh, could this be a tricky session? Not for him, none for one. Nicely flicked away. Looking for extra bit of swing. Didn't get it. So it'll be harsh on the Windies. They need wickets. The spirits were lifted and suddenly taken away. Driven beautifully. That is a lovely shot through mid on. Perfect on drive. Crosses the line now. That's cut away. Just too short and too wide. Catch it. Pull to us, put away quite nicely.
the outside edge in fact he walked so that is good bowling by Borican. the right areas as we might call it pitching around the off or maybe just outside spun and also took the outside edge so the promising innings of Kusal Mendes comes to an end dot balls dot balls dot balls this is basics it brings wickets now if Warikan and Bishu can stay in that frame of mind they will create opportunities he's played beautifully though let's put Sri Lanka forward that's a well-made 39 for Kusal Mendes Sri Lanka 55 for two First look, it looked as if it pitched outside leg. They're asking. Well, certainly Warrican was convinced, and that's that's the issue for a captain. You, your bowler is always invariably going to believe, almost more often than not, that the guy is out. Legal delivery, no problem with that. By Erasmus, our TV official will be moving things along. You would want to think that this pitched outside leg stump. What we've seen so far is not conclusive. There's no bat involved. Looks a bit closer to leg stump than you, 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 when you see it like this, Faz. Doesn't have much of a stride in. So is it pitching outside leg? This will tell us. Well, it's pitching on leg. It's and it's. It's. Just clipping, umpire yeah, says, yeah. not out. So it's going to stay with the umpire's call. Oh! That was the last ball of the day. Here at the end of day two, Sri Lanka in a great position, lead of 113, got eight wickets in hand and firmly in control of this second test match. 76 runs scored in this session at a reasonable rate of 2.45, Shandimal and Silva the men at the wicket and a lot to think about for West Indies captain Jason Holder West Indies will have to come and get wickets and get wickets quickly tomorrow so this is where we stand at the end of day two Sri Lanka 200 and in reply the West Indies hold out for 163 Sri Lanka in their second inning 76 for two and all-round lead of 113